So we're going to start off with two cups of heavy cream and at least a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're going to heat this on a low medium heat. So my pot is already up. So it's just to add our heavy cream and you can add a pinch of sugar with your cream. This is why we don't go on high medium, but a low medium. Okay. Make sure you keep on turning it so it won't start to burn or stick up at the sides of your pot. So as this is heating up, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, about a pinch of salt, and stir that in. You don't want too much salt because you don't really want the salt to taste, it's just you want it to bind. And leave this a little simmer for at least two minutes. Check it occasionally, make sure it doesn't stick up at the sides of your pot. In the meantime, what I did, I put five egg yolks and I blended with a half cup of white sugar until it is fine. <laughs> So as you can see, the color has changed. So we're using the egg yolks. When the sugar butter is fine enough, and the bread is really done, then you're able to cut it to stop it. After you're going to put a little bit of your cream. Now here you see the cream is still being heated up here and as you see the side of the pot is telling me it's getting really really hot. Right, so it's getting a little thicker and at this point you would like to add at least a tablespoon of your vanilla extract. So you're just adding a tablespoon if you don't want it to just add a teaspoon i'm just averaging here because i cannot find my tea while measuring spoons and just mix that in you'll get a nice light smell of vanilla if you want it more vanilla you add more if you don't want it vanilla you could add the coconut you could even add chocolate it's up to you. So as you see in the below of the spoon is already getting thick. So this is a sign to take it off. Right? So you cut this off here. And you're going to throw at least a cup of this back into your measuring cup to stir into the egg mixture. Alright, so here's my egg mixture and I'm training the hot cream. Right, just once you throw it in, try and scramble it as quickly as you can because you don't really want the eggs to cook. And then you're going to get that really nice aroma. Once this is formed, you're adding the rest of your cream into the mixture. Right, so I'm going to add in the rest. Make sure you scrape all the sides of your cup and you just stir. At this point, you're not supposed to be able to feel any granules since the heat has dissolved them. It's a very nice custody fragrance you'll get. And then you throw them into your pan. Now usually, what people use, people use these particular pans 
or you could use your normal cupcake pan which I am going to do so what I'm going to do now is take this mixture and just pour it into my measuring cup because it has a sprout right clean out the size of your bowl and now you're going to pour it into your containers you don't want it to overflow too much in the end you can just separate it after by cutting the cupcake pan if you like I'm using the bigger size of cupcake pans because of the amount it came out to. And when you're done, you're going to put these to bake. Now you can either put these on a double boiler or you could put it in just so. Or you could put it together in one big container and bake it but it will just take longer than this means so you're gonna put this in in my stove there's 150 or as I say 350 degrees and let this bake for at least 30 to 45 minutes or unless the middle is jiggled so it's supposed to be like a custard pie like 45 minutes now I have it on a very low heat and let's see how it looks all right so it looks like it's completed so i'm going to take me a knife uh, i'm just going to stick it in uh, it's a little bit um still messy but you remember it's custard so i don't think it will actually come out clean so i'm going to lock this off there and what i'm going to do is sprinkle some sugar on top of the custard because you want that little um burnt I don't I honestly I have never tried this because usually like they torch it but I don't have a torch so let's actually see how it comes out right so it's gonna take a little bit of sugar white sugar brown sugar don't really matter right and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull it out a little bit make sure it doesn't fall <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little teaspoon I have a little bit of white sugar here and I'm just gonna like you know like scatter it on like that and so it's first time doing it I don't have a torch I'm unsure how it's going to come out it's just like a little social experiment here I'm trying well cooking experiment I should, I should say hopefully you all have two hands and you all could use like a sifter or something and it will be more evenly distributed than I'm doing here right and i'm just gonna leave this now and let it try and melt for at least a five minutes because it's, oh, it's almost cooked and you don't want it to overcook and if you realize like i said the edges already don't turning golden brown right so i'm just gonna put this back in for the next five minutes well that's five minutes but that's about two three minutes put in those sugar on top and yeah it has not melted <laughs> but uh, you could just dust it out and i'm just gonna take this off now and wait for it to cool at least five hours in the refrigerator before serving so you all i hope you all try this give me a feedback and let me know how it goes